just letting you guys know there is a new podcast episode up right now. You can listen to it on my No Bleeps YouTube channel or anywhere that you stream podcasts. We are reviewing David Dobrik's new perfume. Hey guys, it's Philly and welcome back to Spill Sesh, you guys. The Ace family has come out and responded to all of the hate that they got when Catherine uploaded a video on the Ace family channel titled A Day in the Life with Catherine. At the beginning of this video, she did not edit out a clip like the intro that they were doing and they were doing it a couple of times and Austin seems frustrated and he didn't like his hair, he was with the kids and he was basically just not talking to Catherine in the best way. They were like kind of having a little argument type situation. Like there was tension and he was uh, cursing in front of the kids and people did not like that. Hey, hey family. family! Welcome back to our channel, guys. What's going on, everybody? Look at my hair. No. Good thing I don't have to know. I'm gonna say it. Good thing I Okay. God. Okay. My hair looks I'm not feeling like this. So just go. Okay. Okay, one, two, three. Hey, hey family! Welcome back. And they got a ton of hate. People were saying that he was disrespectful. There was a whole hashtag of like, save Catherine. People just felt like something was going on in the household that was not right. And I talked about it on the Sunday special because I just wanted to tell you guys like, you know, what's been going around on the internet. And I said that Catherine had originally responded on Twitter, basically saying like, if you can go throughout this entire pandemic and be around your partner for 24 hours a day and still like basically be sane, then you're a real one. And I thought they were gonna leave it at that and not really address it any further, but then they uploaded a video to their channel titled, We Went to Therapy. And in this video, they basically basically address everything that has been said about them. I mean, they started it off by reenacting the clip. They did end up deleting this clip of them fighting, having this little argument from the day in the life video with Catherine. But basically they reenacted the fight at the beginning of this video and they were just explaining that during that day they were having a really rough morning and it was like the fourth time that they were trying to film the intro. Catherine says that she was also heated that morning and yelling at Austin, but the only part that was left in the video was the part that he was yelling. Austin is the one that usually edits the vlog, but she was editing this video and she accidentally left this clip in and Austin mentions that people thought that she had left it in on purpose and they had denied that and mentioned that people thought that she was also crying because a lot of people in the comments of the video were also saying that Catherine just looked sad and upset. People were really going to worst case scenario in terms of this video. She denied that she was crying that morning and Austin was definitely more giggly about the situation and then Catherine, she wanted it to be taken a little bit more seriously because a lot of the things that people were saying were not things that should be joked about or anything that people should be laughing about. Austin was bringing up comments that people made about him having hurt Catherine or her needing to be saved from him as if she was in a bad situation. And she said, don't joke about that. Like she said, it's not the case with their family and that she's not, you know, being hurt in any type of way. And she says that, you know, you guys just want Austin to be the villain all the time. And at this point, they're pretty much like numb to any criticism that they get in their relationship or anything that they do. And Austin brings up that he consistently gets hate for everything and anything that he does, like kissing his girls on the lips or hitting their butts in videos. I'll say like, I know a lot of people that kiss their parents on the lips and you guys like I'm in my 20s and people still be kissing their parents on the lips. It's just how some families do it. I never kiss my parents on the lips, but I definitely don't think that it's like abnormal. I know people want to make it all weird and stuff, but I've just seen so many people do it that at this point, I, I think it's just based on your household. The other stuff though that has been said about him, I'm not gonna defend. So that's just, that's, that's that. But Catherine once again brought up that there are people really out there experiencing these really hard and dark times and being treated horribly by their partners or any 
person in particular or spoken to horribly and that that's not the case in their household and that the hashtag save Catherine needs to stop and that she's fine and that is not what's going on with them. And so Austin brings up how this world of YouTube can be like a place where you can't be sensitive because if that were the case, he would have quit a long time ago because obviously there's been a lot of stuff that has been brought up and said about him. And Catherine says that people need to stop saying that you don't want to leave him because of this, this and that. Which is true, like anytime I'm seeing the comments, like when I'm trying to cover a story, talking about something going on with them, a lot of people are like, oh, Catherine doesn't want to leave Austin because of the kids, like she's only there for the kids, and she's saying like, that's not the case. If she felt like she needed to leave, she would, and she was like, trust me. So, you know, they're really opening up here more than like they've ever really talked about the relationship, because I feel like when the entire drama was going on, when Austin was truly getting called out, I believe Cole Kerrigan was the one that really detailed some really terrible stuff about the ace family but they did not speak out about that austin went on to address cursing in front of his kids saying that if anybody is saying that they don't curse in front of kids they are lying because like i said people were not happy that he was cursing in front of the kids when they were filming the intro for Catherine's video anyways she said that she was happy that they didn't see the real her and that when she found out that there was like an unedited clip in the video, she was like, she didn't know if it was Austin or her that was the one yelling and she thought that it could have been her. And I think like the point of them talking about this is just like them trying to say we are a normal couple, we fight and we recorded our arguments, but because people saw this one clip, they went to think that something else was wrong. I definitely think like all of the past stuff that has been said about Austin really does play a part in why people were assuming the worst in the situation. I also saw comments of people saying that they saw like a hole in the wall in the background of this intro but I could not for the life of me find this hole in the wall like people thought he like punched a wall but I could not find this hole in the wall in the clip that was deleted so I don't know if people were just saying that if I was just missing it or what but people were really not happy with Austin during this entire thing people are still not happy with Austin and I do see that a lot of people really love Catherine and a lot of the Ace family members really do want to see Catherine have her own channel or start her own podcast because they love her, they love to hear her talk, and I just think a lot of other people that may not be fans of Austin in particular do like Catherine a lot after hearing the stuff of Austin from the past and whatever, they just want to look out for Catherine, which is really nice. It definitely gets complicated because obviously we're only seeing like a portion of their life and there's just so many arguments right now. Like some people are saying no one should ever be spoken to that way. You should never speak to a partner that way. And then some people are saying, has nobody ever had a fight with their partner? Has nobody ever lived with someone? Uh, nobody ever had kids and fought with someone before? So there's just a bunch of different opinions going around based on like everyone's own personal experience with their relationships and how they've been getting spoken to obviously i don't think that it's very nice to speak to your partners this way and you should never speak to anybody this way anyways the title of the video is we went to therapy which was clickbait and they ended up talking about the clickbait because at one point in time Catherine looks at austin and says should we talk about the therapy thing and austin says no just clickbait the out of the rest and he was just like keep that in there too so i don't really know what that was about whether people were saying to them that they need to go to therapy or austin needs to go to therapy and he was just like no we're just gonna not talk about that and we're gonna just use that as clickbait but anyways he says like he just doesn't care anymore about what people are saying about him and then Catherine gets serious because she didn't want to gloss over the entire topic of therapy she says that she does take therapy very seriously and that she did go at one point in time in her life during her parents divorce but she never went back and she said that everyone should go at some point in time or just have someone to talk to or have a good group of friends and she told Austin that she thinks that they should just do it they should just go to talk and have like another person that doesn't really know them hear what they have to say and Austin brings up that YouTube couples that do what they do break up quite frequently it's very rare for them to stay together but honestly you know a lot of family channels that I know of are honestly together still they're honestly together but I think he's just talking about like super big famous YouTube couples I don't know. 
but not many family channels that I know of ever really break up. And then they basically kind of end this entire conversation. Catherine says that they have never played with the idea of not being together. That's just facts. That's not them. So it sounds like these two are here to stay. They are just setting the record straight that they are not breaking up and that people need to stop wanting them to break up because they're going to stay together and yeah so i definitely want to know what you guys think about their response to what has been said about them and yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments down below i love you guys so much and i will talk to you in the next video bye guys